Zazi Griffin responding to God Shiva. Um, it's also a response to Exiled and uh, her uh, talking about emotional weight in arguments. Okay, so you're at a party and this guy comes up to you and he's not dressed quite like everyone else. However, you're willing to have a conversation. He seems like a alright sort. And, uh, and, then he's, and then suddenly you find yourself in no man's land where every time you try and explain something or you try and understand what he's saying, what he's putting so much emotional emphasis into, he goes, no man... You're not getting it. Or they just... Or you offer a simple explanation of something and someone rolls their eyes and just walks off in a huff. And you're sitting there wondering what the hell you just said. Or as Seth MacFarlane put it in Family Guy, this has been brought to you by men. We've got no idea what we did. Great good if you want to look it up. Anyway, what I'm saying to you guys is... It's really a case of people not being able to express themselves. And human beings have a nasty habit. I've said this on one of my previous videos. We always assume that other people think like we do. And the problem is, we everything you do, you do because of how it makes you feel. So people really evaluate their experiences and the importance of their memories in terms of the emotional weight it had. Feeling comfortable, uh, you know, with your family. Feeling uh, hassled uh, by a salesman, you know. Being uh, amused by a comic, you know. Uh, being aroused by the memory of a lover, it does happen. Uh, however, that is how we weigh our experiences. And... I've got to say... You've... You've got... No hope of trying to explain yourself to someone who really is trying to understand their self. That's why they talk about these discussions non-stop. They want to understand it better. The problem is they're not terribly articulate or they're not or they they're not sufficiently nuanced and experienced enough to understand uh, the terminology that they need to use to explain something to you. My advice stand back and use as few words as possible and so go on really like what i hadn't thought about that please continue don't sound condescending don't sound like you're not paying attention and if you give them a chance to just get it all out of their system ask questions rather than give assertions of your own. Even if you think you've got evidence to back it up, even if you believe that you're right, ask questions to see if they can, if you can get them to appreciate the difference between their thinking and yours. And if you do that for a couple of minutes, you'd be shocked at how effectively you can uh, get people to suddenly start seeing where you're coming from and start seeing where the differences in your opinions are because you haven't actually criticized anything they're saying you've just got them you've just got them to look at some different things from a different point of view it's a case of a what I call negative reasoning uh, where you you don't take things away from them you just leave a few spaces open that they hadn't thought about going into before or and whatever you do don't ask them to define stuff in terms that you understand let them explain their nomenclature and their terminology in their own words get you the best results every time anyway i hope this has been helpful and i hope this uh, allows you to hear different things from different people that otherwise you may never have heard you have a good one.